protector, comforter, hard lover, father, father leader. And a few words to describe Mark Wilson Jr. Please promise me that she will always know that her dad is a soldier and that he loved you both from day one. Exact words from the letter we anticipate you receive from Mark Wilson. Mark always desired to find love, and he was fortunate enough to do that when he met Cindy Diamond. They began to date, had this courtship going on, fell in love. Eventually, they had baby babies. They became parents. Mark was excited about this. But of course, as with any relationship, everything's not always rainbows and butterflies. There were some hard times they fell on here and there. And so during those hard times, they would have to live in different places. One of those places, a lot of the times, they would live with Cindy's sister Sarah. Here and there, from here on out, and of course, that included Sarah's children and her husband. So their family dynamic was just, just a little different. It wasn't just a three of them. They would have to get help from people here and there, mostly Cindy's sister. He would always provide for his family when he could. He would, when he wasn't working, making sure he was tripping in their bond. They didn't have a driver's license, so he did all the jobs for the family, just making sure that they could spend whatever time together that they could. I can't even imagine to try to live life without you and her. Again, words from Mark's own letter. He had such a love for his daughter. Mark loved his daughter more than anything. And because he loved her so much, sometimes it caused him to have to make some tough decisions. Again, like I said, they fell on hard times here and there. So within that time frame that they would have to do that, you have to move back in with a different person, meaning Sarah and her family here and there. So back in August 2020, the Mini family, Mini Mark and Cindy and baby Caitlin, they had their own place, but the electricity was turned off, they had no water. So at this point, he said, well, Sarah's made an offer of her to us to move in with her, so we'll make that decision to do so. Also, during that time frame, he discovered that Cindy was pregnant. They were expecting their second child. He was excited all over again. He knew at that point he really needed to increase his role as a protector and a provider and do what he needed to do to take care of his many family. He would work here and there, and he would also, at Sarah's home, help out putting things together and doing all those things that a protector and a father would do. Caitlin is so extraordinary. She really is our greatest achievement. Mark some words about his own daughter and his own family. Words that we submit you will hear and give you insight as to what happened on August 26 of 2020. Mark doing what he thought he had to do to protect his child, protect his family. We submit that you will hear that Mark believed that the boys were molesting his daughter. Mark does deny his actions in the beginning, but eventually he does confess to what he had done. You'll see that he drops his head, he lowers it with shame. Tears start to pour down his face. He's remorseful and he takes accountability for what he's done. He's owned up to it. This is a tough case, very tough case. A case where Mark shows remorse and takes accountability, but not a case of first degree premeditated murder. We ask that you listen to all the evidence and that you hold the state accountable and hold them to their burden, approving every single element Beyond a reasonable doubt. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Are you ready with your first witness?